On today's episode, I'm going to show you an Ender 3 or Ender 3 clone side spool holder that actually pivots out of the way. And you can 3D print most of the parts right here on Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. On a stock Ender 3, Ender 3 V2, or any clone, typically the spool holder is on top, the filament loops down into the extruder, and even with a metal insert, you're going to see wear over time. Some people put a guide on it, I preferred a side spool mount. In previous videos, I've showed a rear spool mount, and also a side spool mount using the existing bracket. But when the CR6 came out that I did a review of a beta unit, it came with this pivoting side spool mount. And frankly, I love it. The Ender 3 Max has the same side spool holder. Now you can buy this thing, but it's really hard to find. I did find it at Banggood. You can get it right now for about $10. I'll put a link to that in the description below. But why not just print your own? Like this. I found this version on Thingiverse from user Zachary101078. I printed his out and it came out pretty good. I had to put a screw and a nut for the pivot, but it all fit together. For the screw, I used an M3 screw. 40 millimeters long and an M3 nut. And it goes right on the rail just like this. But there's a few things I wanted to improve on it because it's not as good as this one. This is actually the one from Banggood. I broke the one on my CR6 and I bought a replacement. This one has a screw and the nut is embedded in the bracket itself. But it's also got a little lip here. So when you try to put it on the rail to get it right, it wants to is resistance. It wants to snap in place, and I'm not going to snap it because that's how I broke the last one. I tried to pop it off, so I tr I just slide it in from the back from the rail. But this one really pivots easy. But the big difference is I get the full spool holder. So this is the same spool holder that comes with the Aquila or comes with an Ender 3. That it it just twists on and off, and it's got this twist nut, right? So this one from Banggood and the original one from Creality has these little nubs in here so you can put the spool holder and twist it right into place. His, he's just got an open hole so you got to shove this in and it has to fit, it's really hard, fit inside here which I can't even get it all the way on and then you put the nut on it and the problem I have with that is you're basically losing 20 millimeters of this so it goes in 20 millimeters so it's you got less space to hold a spool. So if you get a wide spool, it's not going to work. So what I did is I took his design and I added the nubs like what's on this one. Now I can take the spool holder, push it in there, and twist it and lock it in place. So that works really well. Another thing that I changed is he made the bottom a little bit shorter, which is similar to this guy, but they have a spot for like a little rubber pad. So you can put a different size pad depending on how far your printer is off because it's got rubber pads. So I noticed that his leaves a gap here because the pads on the Vox Lab, on the Ender 3 Pro are both taller. The Ender 3 is about, this would fit perfectly Ender 3, but the other ones are taller. So what I did is I just molded that into the base of mine. Now it fits a lot better if I take the spool off, you can see it's resting on the bench so it's much more solid and I didn't have to put a rubber foot on it. You can take his and put a rubber foot on it that'll work but I molded it in because this matches most of the printers that I have. Another small change I made his bracket doesn't have a lip like the original one which snaps in place so when you put this on it's fine but his is designed to use T-nuts to hold it in place so it doesn't flop like this. So I wanted a lip on mine, so I took his design and just added a lip along the bottom. So now I have to actually slide this on. But then it stays in place. It's not going anywhere. So it's a little more solid. You can still use T-nuts, but it's not going anywhere the way it is. This is an older Ender 3 in my shop. This is an Ender 3 Pro, and I've modified it. It's got an easy R extruder so I can print flexibles. And I printed flexible feet for it that are on this machine, so it lifts it up higher than a normal Ender 3 Pro would be. But that's why I put that knob on mine because most of my machines have these rubber feet. So now I can just slide this on here and then I can just take the existing spool holder, untwist it. I don't need that nut anymore. And I should be able to just slide this in, 
twist it, lock it in place, and I have a side spool holder for an Ender 3 Pro. I did all my modifications to his design in Tinkercad, so I'll share those. I'll put a link in the description below so you can modify it however you want. I'll also put these files up on Chep Club for Patreon members, and also I'll link to them in Thingiverse as a remix of his. So that way you guys could just use it as is or modify it. So I don't know, what do you guys think of this? I really like side spool holders, but I know some people don't. But at least now you can pivot it to where you want. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.